we finally get to have another VGA unboxing. It has been way too long since the last one. Over a year, I believe. And I am nervous about the result. I have no idea what the grades are gonna be on these and I never even had them in my hands to do a pre-grade assessment. They went directly from eBay to my middleman to VGA. Well, I never saw these outside of the few eBay photos. There are actually only two games inside of this comically large package. And they're both PC games. I actually graded two computer games. Something I do not buy, something I do not grade, which is all the more reason why I'm so nervous about the results. So I need you guys to say thank you to every single patron who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do it without you guys. And let's set the stage for this unboxing. For the first game, let me take you all the way back to the year 2021, where Tomb Raider on PlayStation 1, factory sealed, water graded 8.0, sold for $26,000 in April, and then $144,000 for a nicer one in July. Numbers that frankly don't make sense, right? Absolutely insane. The most recent sale for the same copy that sold for over $100,000 is $10,000. So it is down about 90% since then, but that's not what matters here. So Tomb Raider had just sold for $100,000 and I was browsing eBay like I always do and I saw a random sealed PC version of Tomb Raider for $70 and said, screw it, why not? Surely if people were paying thousands and thousands of dollars to the PlayStation 1 version, someone out there would value the PC version to the tune of a few hundred dollars, right? So the version I bought on PC is not the really cool trapezoid box version. I only learned about that afterwards. So the first strike against me was I bought the version that is not the most desirable version. This is the later release that is just a plain square rectangle box. There was also obvious wear all over the box. The listing is too old now for me to bring up all the photos that were, but even in the small one, you can see there's also a sticker on it. I don't even know if VGA will remove that or not. I did pay for the cleaning option, but it's always a bit of a toss up if they touch stickers or not. So I waited almost a full year for them to open up the cheaper tiers. They still haven't. And then I finally did send it out. I think it was 115 US because I also paid for the cleaning. And then it took another seven months to finally come back to me. And now I'm in to this PC version for somewhere around 220 US dollars after factoring shipping both ways. The point is I am praying it is at least a VGA 80. I can sell it, get my money back and never have to think about it again. So that's the first game. The other game inside of here is a lot more expensive and I have a lot higher expectations for. Released all the way back in 2008, generally considered one of, if not the best expansion for World of Warcraft. That's right. We are talking about a factory sealed copy of Wrath of the Lich King Collector edition. Insanely cool game to own in any condition as far as I'm concerned. I don't often talk about WoW because I wasn't super deep into it, but there was a period in my life in high school where about six to eight months was consumed by playing Wrath of the Lich King. I loved the game and I was fully addicted, but I also knew that I was fully addicted. I don't often do stuff surface level, like if I'm going to do something, I'm probably going to do it really well or get really deep into it. As you can tell by me not simply buying video games, I buy sealed video games, I buy graded video games, and then I try to get high grade sealed video games. The point is I was playing so much freaking WoW that I just had to uninstall it from the computer one day and walk away. I basically just quit cold turkey one day and had to settle for YouTube vids. Anyways, I bought this copy of Lich King almost a year ago now and I actually paid 400 US dollars all in for it. Add in all the grading fees and it's about 550 US dollars total. And I purchased this specific copy of Lich King on eBay at that time because it looked really, really nice. I was not settling for one with damage. I wanted one that was going to be VGA gold. I'm looking for 85 plus or better. This thing looked really nice in the photos. But as we all know, photos don't show you everything. But now the stage is set. We're looking for at least an 80 on the Tomb Raider, at least 85 plus on Wrath of the Lich King. Let's cut into this box and see if I have to be disappointed for the rest of the day. So let's just start here. If you've never seen a VGA box before, if you've never opened one up, let me give you the full experience of cracking into this thing. Enough packing peanuts to last a lifetime in here. And then inside you get this thing, this big grenade package basically. And these are the two games inside. Slice through some of these layers here. And we'll start off with Tomb Raider since it is less money. It is a less important overall. So Tomb Raider gets to be the tone setter. Then we'll see what we get out of Lich King. And I want to make sure I don't see the grade myself as well. So just got to be careful here. And these really are quite big. So here's Tomb Raider. Cover the grade here. Something like this. So I'll show you guys a little bit what the box looks like. You can see there's obvious corner damage on there. Um, there's some creasing. They did leave the sticker on as well. I kind of figured they would. So here's hoping it can still hit the 80. Tomb Raider, the actual grade is... 
Oh man! Ah 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 ah! BJ75 on the Tomb Raider. And if we quickly cope and look at the bright side, at least it got graded. It was actually factory sealed. That's a good thing. It's still a silver grade. That's not so bad. And after seeing a lot more big box PC grading over the last year and a half, VGA just is quite strict with it. Even getting a VGA85 big box game, especially a more vintage one, it's not easy. So I'm not necessarily surprised that it got a 75, but it's also a kick in the nuts. I'm riding a fine line between acceptance and disappointment. But that's too Raider, and now I feel like I'm in for a world of disappointment with Lich King. This Lich King box is huge. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is so heavy too. Again, this is so heavy that I can't really even hold it like this for a long time. Here we go. Lich King looking for 85 plus. The actual grade on Lich King is... Yes, yes, oh my God, it's hard to see in there, but yes, 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 oh my God. I'm not even gonna front, I'm not gonna try to hide it. This is fucking cool. 85 plus on Lich King Collector's Edition. This absolutely makes up for the Tomb Raider stinker, so thank God. A ton of people always ask, why do you bother getting your games graded? It's such a waste, blah, blah, blah. It is genuinely fun. I love unboxing day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as well. Hit the like button before you go, and I will see you guys in another unboxing very soon.